Okay, so this is the uh, DeWald um, hydraulic uh, pump that operates the slide. Okay, and I'll use my finger here. This is uh, what you can manually put uh, your extension on to uh, pump the slide in and out. And this is the valve. You have this valve counter uh, clockwise turned shut when you're writing, uh, running the pump um, with your uh, your uh, control inside the uh, unit, your in and out button. And uh, these are the solenoids. You have uh, two solenoids here, and uh, you see the red wire, the the larger red wire in the back that is uh, going to the uh, uh, the back of the uh, solenoid on the left and then you have uh, your white wire going to the one on the right that's in the back and it also has a fuse here okay a 20 amp fuse and then you have your uh, green wire and your blue wire that goes to the pump itself all right and then you have uh, your uh, blue wire here just like a regular solenoid you have uh, your smaller uh, DC wires going to these posts here okay and uh, those go to your uh, your switch so that's how uh, sorry about that uh, and then here's your hydraulic hoses now I found um, I have the actual uh, uh, DeWald uh, schematic on, on all this and I haven't really read it that close yet but what I found is uh, uh, this pump is set up so if your slide is out and it quits working you can get it in so you can uh, <laughs> so you can drive right but uh, if you reverse these two uh, hydraulic lines, you can uh, actually pump your uh, slide out as well. Um, I don't know if there's a, a way of doing it. Uh, maybe uh, reverse the wires on the solenoid, maybe. That might work. So I got to do a little research on it so I don't have to keep doing taking these hydraulic lines off. Right now I don't have to worry about it because I fixed the problem anyway. I took all these, uh, I took the solenoids out and cleaned all the posts. I cleaned all the wires, the contacts, and uh, that seemed to work really well. Plus having a low battery uh, <laughs> that wasn't charging because it was so low, uh, that didn't help matters either. So. I figured I'd uh, make a video of this so you know how to uh, attack a problem if you're having a problem with this and how this thing works all right and uh, if I find uh, something useful on the schematic I'll uh, add that to the video if not here you go this is uh, working properly now anyway all right thanks <laughs>